looking for a Smartsheet PMO dashboard? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking you through an example PMO dashboard and some tips and suggestions on how you can build one yourself. Uh, now, before I begin, I do just want to mention that I've just released my Smartsheet dashboard training course. So if you're looking to build insightful and visual dashboards and get a true understanding of everything it takes to, to build dashboards from scratch, then I would really recommend that you check out this course. I will drop a link in the description. It'll be the first link um, on how you can access this course, but it gives you an idea exactly of, of all the different aspects of dashboard building, including how to organize and set up your data and also some tips and tricks on uh, data automation and other suggestions just to make the whole process much quicker, more efficient, and to make your dashboards look a lot more um, effective, easy to use, and just professional as well. That's the word I was looking for there. So do check out this course. Um, the link is in the description. But back to the PMO dashboard that I'm gonna be presenting to you today. So you'll see here, we've got a whole workspace kind of designed for this dashboard. Now, it's important to note that this dashboard is fueled by a various different sheets and summary sheets. And these are the kind of things I walk through on my course. Um, but yeah, this dashboard is kind of pulling from various different places and it's kind of looking, a lot of the data for this uh, PMO dashboard is being analyzed in, in various different summary sheets. So I do want to quickly walk you through those. Um, and then at the end, I'll show you how you can actually get this, this entire workspace um, for free and you can just kind of set it up and then adapt it for your own needs. So let's look through this workspace. So you'll see that there's two different folders, first and foremost, you've got a portfolio level and you've got a project level. So we'll start with the um, project level. So this essentially, obviously you're a PMO, you've probably got various different projects in your organization running simultaneously. Now the idea here is that every single project would use the same set of templates. You've got, um, this is a report, an overdue report. You've got a project metadata, so that's really, really important for um, collecting all of the important data for the project, which can then fuel the dashboard. Again, this is the kind of thing I discuss in my course, why it's so important and how to get that right. Um, you've got another report for project milestones. You've got the project plan. You've got an individual project dashboard. And then you've also got a task roll-up report. So if I just drill into this project tracking and roll-up dashboard, you'll see here that this is summarizing each project based on all of the different templates. So the concept is you would copy this folder um, for each new project. So you could have 10 of these as an example, and you'd obviously rename them. Um, and then you would start working through the templates. And in doing so, the project metadata would update. So if I just quickly click in here and I'll show you. So you've got, if I double click, so this is a this is actually a place to add, add notes. Um, it's a, a, a free text field. But if you look here, the, the blue icon, you'll see that you've got formulas and you've got references. So it, it's, it's probably beyond the scope of this video. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, but you can just see how this is kind of pulled together. Um, so we've basically got all of the main information here. And if you, if you down, if you decide to download these templates, um, you will see, um, you, you'll be able to get access to this and kind of edit it and adapt it um, accordingly. But you've got this project metadata and the result of all of these is that you have this project tracking, uh, dash, tracking and roll up dashboard um, that's kind of already pre-created. So, You've got various different widgets. You've got a title widget. There's an image widget here for your organization or whatever you want to show at the top. And then you've got some key project information on the left-hand side. This is a, um, a metric widget. You've got some a task by status widget here. You've got some key contacts, links to the various resources. So that's what I was kind of showing you there in the folder view, the project plan, the overdue report and the project milestones. So if you click into these, it will take you through to each one. You've got an overdue tasks report, and that's obviously being pulled by that report in the folder itself, and the same for the project milestones. And at the bottom there, you've got an ability to add some feedback. So this is a really, really good way of, of providing a dashboard for each project. Now, let's look at the portfolio level. So you've obviously, you obviously have as many of these as you, as you need for your projects. It's all being kind of reported on this um, roll-up dashboard and, and 
through the various different sheets. But this is where the real PMO element comes in and you've got a portfolio level. So the idea here is it's summarizing all of the different projects within this workspace or this, you know, and, and the various different um, project templates that you have set up. So at, at the top, you've got an active project report, um, which is obviously pulling. If I look in here, it's pulling. Um, it will be pulling from um, the project intake sheet in this instance. Um, which I'll show you in a second. You've also got things like just the key information for each project, the start date, the end date, um, and the project status. Um, you've got the portfolio metrics. So this is a summary sheet that is looking at all of those projects that you set up. So at the moment, you'll see we've only got one set up and you've got some countif formulas as well doing that uh, for you. Um, you've got a project by status um, breakdown, a project schedule breakdown, and a project schedule health um, all time kind of breakdown as well. Uh, these are all being collect, um, calculated via different formulas. Now, the reason why you'd want to do that is because you can create this kind of PMO portfolio dashboard. And that's probably why you're here today to get either an idea of what you need to create, what one kind of looks like, or just to give you some inspiration. Um, so here it is. And so what you've got at the top is you've got some kind of an area to add some some a description about what this port, uh, dashboard is all about. We've got some example email uh, addresses or, or contacts here. Um, and this is where you can add some some kind of free text about what you want to, to include. And then you've got the overview of your entire portfolio. So you've got all of the projects by status, the number of projects by schedule health. And these are using the, the kind of this one at the top is a rich text widget. This is the title widget. These are charts that have been set up based on those summary sheets I just showed you. Um, you've also got some resources and you've got some reports pulled in as well. So you've got some clickable links and you've just got some high level KPIs and metrics. So these are obviously some important ones. So these are referring back to that sheet that I just showed you doing that kind of summary. So, and then you've got the feedback at the bottom. So this is what a PMO um, portfolio dashboard looks like. Uh, and the concept is it's obviously pulling from all of the various projects that you create. And the idea is that it's all created in one workspace and it's fueling, um, it's all fueling itself. So this, this, uh, these dashboards, both at the project level and at the portfolio are few, uh, kind of um, being populated by the various different um, artifacts that are held within its own folder. So there's one other thing I need to show you actually, and that's the project intake sheet. So this is where it all begins for this particular PMO uh, workspace and dashboard. And the idea here is that the PMO would um, sign off on projects before um, they're kind of accepted and, and when a, a set of project templates are created. So the idea here is that, I mean, I'm not sure if there's a form that's been set up. Um, if there's not, you could set up a form as well. Yep, there is a form. Um, now the idea here is that somebody would either fill out the form, uh, well, usually we'd fill out the form if there's a request for a new project. It's unlikely they'd go into here um, but when the form's obviously populated, it would come into this sheet and it is possible to enter it in here. But anyway, this is the intake process and here all of the key information would kind of be uh, filled out. Um, and at that stage, um, then there'd, there's almost a request. Um, you could even set up an alert, but there'd be a request to create a new set of project templates. This would be created and then assigned to a project manager, shared with them perhaps. And then they would go in and start updating all of their different resources. And as such, the project dashboard would update. And as such, the portfolio level would update. So for instance, we've only got one project in here at the moment, one project in progress. Let's say we had a new intake um, to create a new project. We did that, um, which obviously would require some PMO work. Then the templates would be set up the project manager would start updating the templates and then we would start seeing that reflecting back in the PMO portfolio dashboard. So I've covered quite a lot here. I've tried to keep it quite high level. I've tried to give you different aspects to think about what they kind of what this kind of looks like when it's all kind of finished. I've not really gone into the building aspect of this. Um, if you do want to understand how to build these kind of um, dashboards and just dashboards in general in, general in Smartsheet, then check out the link in the description below. It is a it, it links over to my course about how to create these kind of setups um, and everything that are kind of covered and, and a, a lot more actually. So do check that out. The final thing I do want to um, show you is how to actually get this without having to create it all. So obviously a very, very valuable thing. 
Now, what you want to do is log into your account. You'll see I'm on a trial account and the purpose behind that is because uh, I need to keep my kind of, I work for an organization, I need to keep that data protected. So I've just set up a trial for this, this particular video. But if you want to get access to this, then what you need to do is click on Solution Center and then in here, in the search, you wanna type in PMO. And if you do so, you'll be presented with this option here. Now, if you click this, you'll see it says template set. And if you click learn more, it's gonna take you to a portal that's been created by Smartsheet. Let's wait till it loads. It shouldn't be too long. It's a view only portal. And if you scroll down a little bit, so what it basically does, is it gives you a higher, it, it gives you all of the information about what I've just basically walked you through how it works, um, what's included. It's a really, really important, fantastic resource, really. Um, and it just basically, yeah, it talks you the entire process. So I would really recommend that you check out this first and foremost. Um, read this all, get an understanding of how it works, perhaps even save a copy, actually, um, that you can refer back to, maybe even share with different stakeholders, anyone who's uh, maybe project managers or anyone else in the PMO. Then once you're ready, click the download button and what's gonna happen is instantly, or well, I say instantly, depends on your load time, as we can see, but once it's finished kind of loading, um, there is a lot to copy to be fair. And the issue might actually be that I've done this already. So to be fair to Smartsheet, I'm probably asking a bit too much of it. Um, all my internet's got slow. There's various options at play here. Let's refresh that uh, just to see what happens. Yeah, the reason why it's not working is I've already created it. But what's gonna happen is, is it's gonna, in your sheet section, so it'll be completely private to your own account, it's gonna create this entire uh, workspace and all of the different aspects that I've talked about. And then you can basically update it according to your own PMO's needs um, and use it right out of the box, which is absolutely fantastic. But as I say, that's great, it gets you started quickly, but it doesn't really teach you how this all works and creating it from scratch, which you may actually want to do because you might have bespoke needs. You may not even need all of this. So I would recommend getting my Smartsheet dashboard training course. It's gonna help you if you need to build, <coughs> excuse me, any type of dashboard in Smartsheet. But with all of that said, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this and it does help uh, everyone watching. Uh, and do consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you head over to my channel, I've got loads of different videos on Smartsheet. I've got a whole playlist, over 60 videos on just using the tool, getting the most out of it. So I would recommend heading over there as well. Um, and with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.